how to track field history in Salesforce. Simply log in and then go into setup by clicking this gear icon and clicking setup. You can enable field history tracking for any object in Salesforce that you'd like. Then go into object manager. In this example, we're gonna enable field history tracking for accounts. We'll click on accounts. We'll click on fields and relationships. And once we're here on our top right, we can see set history tracking. We're gonna click that and we're gonna say enable account history. Now we can choose up to 20 fields on the account object for which we need to track the history. So for now, I am simply gonna choose account name operating hours, website, description, employees. For now, I'm just gonna choose these four or five fields and I'm gonna hit save. Once we've done that, we have to go to page layouts and we have to go into the account layout to ensure that the history tracking component is visible or not. So we will click on related list over here. And from here, we will search for history and we can see account history has not been pasted on the page layout. So we're gonna drag it and paste it in the related list like this. And then we're gonna hit save. That's how you enable history tracking in Salesforce. Now, whenever someone edits any of those five fields on the account object, the fields that we had enabled, such as the account name, the website, the, the employees, if someone edits those fields, the history tracking component will show you when they were edited and who edited them. Let's refresh, let's go into details and let's try to edit the employees field now. So let's add 52 and hit save. Now, if we go into the related tab, we can see the account history tab shows that at this time, the employees field was edited and the original value was empty and now the new value is 52. And this is the person who edited that field. This is how field history tracking works.